Hi you guys, it's Amanda with Healthy House on the Block and I'm here with our weekly video and tip on creating an indoor space that truly supports your health and your wellness. This week we are talking about light bulbs in your space and which light bulbs are going to be the healthiest. All light bulbs emit some level of EMF radiation and so we want to choose light bulbs that are going to minimize our exposure to this type of toxin the most. Some light bulbs will expose us to UV radiation and we want to eliminate those as best we can. So we're going to go through each different type of light bulb that is on the market that we probably all put in our homes. We're going to talk about the safest ones and the ones we want to avoid at all costs. I'm also going to share with you some options for LED lighting that is lower in EMF radiation and the brand I trust for that. I think it's also really important to talk about dirty electricity when we're talking about light bulbs. Light bulbs can create dirty electricity within the lines in our home and that's something we also want to try to avoid when we're talking about a toxin free and healthy living space. So I'm going to explain what dirty electricity even is, how light bulbs can create this issue within our home. We're going to talk about the negative impacts to your health that dirty electricity could be creating and we're just going to go through light bulbs and just these general ideas about electricity as a whole in your home. One of the toxins within our home that we don't always hear about is the toxic exposure that comes from our electricity. Quite often, many of us don't fully understand electricity, and so it's easier to ignore the potentially harmful effects on our bodies and home. And those potentially harmful components come from what is called dirty electricity, which is in every single home. This is also why it's important to make healthier choices where we can in order to avoid this phenomenon of dirty electricity. Light bulbs are actually one of the simplest things we can change throughout our home. Not only are they available readily at most hardware stores, they're something most of us can swap out on our own without any trouble at all. You know that I am a huge proponent of changing whatever you can and simply not worrying about the rest. There's no use in worrying about dirty electricity that you can't change, such as that from a permanent source outside your home. But inside your home, we can make some really simple changes that can prevent dirty electricity from ever affecting our bodies. So first things first, light bulbs can produce something called dirty electricity. But what is dirty electricity? Another thing that I'm really big on is understanding a particular toxin and source of a particular toxin. And while yes, you could just skip to the end and find out what the safest light bulb to use is, I also want to give you the option to fully understand dirty electricity and what it is within your home. Dirty electricity is the phenomenon that occurs when normal flow of alternating electrical current is disrupted, causing electrical surges and irregular spikes along the wires. When the dirty electricity intensifies to a higher frequency, it can actually spread to more areas, creating more potential harm. Most homes operate using 60 hertz AC, which stands for alternating current. This means that the current changes 60 times per second back and forth. It changes from positive to negative and from negative to positive 60 times per second. What happens is many of our electronics call for more, less, or even alternating adjustable amounts of electricity which is not how our systems of 60 hertz AC were designed to be used. Currents of electricity then get trapped inside the electrical lines because of these devices manipulating the amount of power. So this process interrupts the smooth flow of electricity and instead creates a big problem. 
the electricity spikes and surges through the line, which is essentially what dirty electricity or electrical noise is. Unstable electricity gets trapped inside the wiring of the home. This in turn produces measurable amounts of electromagnetic radiation or EMFs. And what's more is that some of the light bulbs and light bulb components that we use, like dimmer switches, also create dirty electricity within our wiring. I mentioned it before, but light bulbs can be a source of dirty electricity within our home. But with that being said, not all light bulbs are created equal. We are going to break down the typical types of light bulbs we purchase for our homes and the benefits and downfalls of each of them in terms of dirty electricity. So first up is the LED light bulb. Often LED light bulbs give off a blue tint, which in terms of our health is very hard on our eyes and can actually increase the risk of cataracts. The blue light also suppresses melatonin production, which, as you may know, is the hormone in charge of regulating the quality of sleep you get. LED light bulbs most often run on direct current, which we established before is one of the largest causes of dirty electricity and EMF radiation within the home. LED light bulbs alternate the frequency of alternating current to direct current, which then back feeds small amounts of electricity into the incoming power line. This disruption produces dirty electricity within our home. Next up is the compact fluorescent, sometimes referred to as the CFL light bulb. There are those curly fluorescent light bulbs. They're one of the most popular types of light bulbs out there due to their low cost and their availability. Most of us have these somewhere in our home and they've become a standard as they replace the older style incandescent light bulbs. Unfortunately, the CFL light bulb most of us use are actually one of the worst light bulbs to have in our homes for a variety of reasons. So first, in terms of dirty electricity, CFLs use high frequency electricity instead of 60 hertz that many homes have. Compact fluorescent bulbs change the AC current we use to DC, which creates those spikes and surges in our power that I talked about earlier. These surges and spikes then emit high amounts of EMF radiation. Basically, our electrical systems were just not made to handle the high frequency demands of a CFL light bulb. And as they produce dirty electricity in our homes, they also produce EMF radiation as the dirty electricity builds up in our wiring. Another reason to avoid CFL light bulbs is due to the UV light that is produced from these types of bulbs. The ultraviolet light that compact fluorescent bulbs produce can be linked to skin and cell damage within our bodies. Fluorescent lights are another popular light bulb that we see in a lot of commercial spaces. A lot of us don't have fluorescent light bulbs in our homes anymore. There are still a few, however, that you can purchase and homes that may have them. In addition, most office spaces and buildings still use this type of lighting. Fluorescent light bulb problems are very similar to that of the CFL light bulbs, just on a grander scale. Fluorescent light bulbs give off high levels of magnetic fields up to 18 inches from their coils. Fluorescent light bulbs have also been linked to an increased risk of malignant melanoma in those who are frequently exposed. And then finally, the good old fashioned incandescent light bulb. They're definitely a thing of the past and it can be kind of difficult to find them anymore. While they are one of the safest light bulbs because they use our home's AC current, they are also the least efficient in terms of energy use. Incandescent light bulbs are less efficient because the energy coming from the wires has to heat up the filament instead of produce light, which causes it to use vastly more energy than any other type of light bulb. The light that is produced with incandescent light bulbs is also more of a natural hue, not a blue tint like newer LED and CFL bulbs. 
Halogen lights are also in the same category as incandescent light bulbs. However, instead of argon gas, which incandescent light bulbs use, they use a halogen gas. The halogen gas generally requires and produces more heat. However, they typically last longer than incandescent lights. So because incandescent light bulbs are the simplest design, they are also the lowest EMF producing bulbs you can find. There is no RF radiation that comes from these bulbs and the design often matches the wiring in most homes. So let's talk about EMFs and your health and dirty electricity and your health. First, it's important to know that EMFs are actually everywhere and are naturally occurring in our world. The harm of EMF exposure comes in the frequent contact we have with them within our homes and the strength of them produced by electronics and appliances within our home. Sources of EMF radiation in our homes vary in strength, but those emitting the most dangerous EMF radiation include our cell phones, televisions, our microwaves, computers, and Wi-Fi devices. Studies continue to be done on EMF radiation, but it has been established as a possible carcinogen to the human body. The World Health Organization has also reported biological harm to humans from increased exposure to EMF radiation, including fatigue, headaches, mood swings, asthma, fertility issues, digestive issues, memory problems, and even sleep issues. And in addition to these problems, there are other studies that have linked chronic diseases such as cancer, heart disease, Alzheimer's, and diabetes to EMF radiation as well. Dirty electricity, which produces EMF radiation within our homes and within our wiring, has been studied and shows effects on the body, including diabetes and even multiple sclerosis that have been aggravated by this type of toxin. So there are always options to filter out dirty electricity, but I think first and foremost, the best solution is to reduce the dirty electricity producing devices wherever you can. So first avoid smart light bulbs wherever you possibly can. Smart light bulbs generate radio frequency radiation, RF. This is the same type of radiation that emits from cell phones and tablets, and it is extremely impactful to our health and wellness. Two, remove dimmer switches if you can. I actually really love low light and ambiance, but dimmer switches are a recipe for high levels of EMF exposure and dirty electricity. The light switch calls for varying levels of electrical current, which causes the electricity to spike and surge as it gets trapped. Three, be really smart about the LED lights that you choose. One thing that we know about LED lights is that they can cause high levels of dirty electricity and EMF exposure in your home. However, I also understand that some options like can lights and strip lighting is only available in LED form. So the best practice is to use LED lights in places where you won't be sleeping and you'll be at least two feet away from the light bulb. EMF radiation drops off relatively quickly the farther away you get from the device, which can help you decide on where to put them. Finally, use incandescent lights in your bedside lamps. The best way to reduce EMF exposure is to focus on where you sleep. Any light bulbs that are in bedside tables will be near your head as you sleep all night long. Make sure these lights are incandescent bulbs, which give off very little to no EMF radiation, which is going to protect you while you sleep. So the good news is that there are healthier light bulbs to choose that produce less or no dirty electricity within your home. And what's even better is that it's a simple change to make that we will likely not even notice once we've made it. 
as always, thank you so much for being here. I hope that you can take at least one of these small ideas and implement it in your own home. Remember that changing a light bulb usually is something that's inexpensive and very easy to do, and so it's a great change to consider for your own healthy home. I also hope that you will subscribe to my channel because I am here every single week with a healthy house tip on creating a space that truly supports your health and your wellness.